welcome to the second episode of Solving the Sudoku, a channel where we solve Sudokus. We have one birthday announcement today, so Samuel Morse, happy birthday. We know how much you love solving Sudokus. This puzzle is called Dot Dot Dash Dot, which is an odd name for a Sudoku puzzle. At any rate, it has the following rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Thermometers increase from the bulb end. Killer cages add up to the number in the corner and can't duplicate numbers. And numbers next to a white Kropke dot differ by one. Uh, not all Kropke dots have been given. And with that, let's get solving. So, row 7 is the logical place to start, with only two digits missing. The 7 has to go in box 9, which means that the 3 goes in this box. Uh, we can start on row 1 now. It needs a 2, 5, and 6. Uh, we can put those in here, 2, 5, and 6. The only value that's possible here is a 5, which leaves a 2, 6 pair in those boxes. The thermometer here needs a number that's less than 4. It can see a 2 and 3, so that means that's a 1, uh, which also places a 1 here. Uh, the 35 cage here can't have a 4 and 1 in it, which means that its digits have to be 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. The 7 and 9 are already placed. Uh, we have a 2, 6 there. So the rest are uh, 2, 3, 6, and 8. Uh, we can take the 6, 8 out of this one, and we can take the 2, 6 out of this one. Uh, this one obviously needs to be less than 4, so that is either 2 or 3. We'll remove those. Uh, the only digit that's left in this box is a 5, so we can put that there. Uh, there's a 5 here, which means there's a 5 there. Uh, that leaves this one to be either a 4 or 6, which means this one has to be a 3, a 5, uh, it could be 7, but it can't, and that's it. So this is also a 5. And we're just zooming along on this. Coming back up here, this is either a 3 or an 8. Uh, and it can't be an 8, so this becomes a 3, which means this is an 8. Uh, which leaves a 2-3 pair here, which means that this has to be a 6. And this one then has to be a 2. And that's great. In the 34 cage, what do we have? This one, ah, so it can see a 4 here and here. Oh, it sees a 4 here and here, so this has to be a 4. Uh, on this cage now, we have 25 uh, numbers there. It needs to go up to 34, so that has to be a 9. Uh, this dot then has to be an 8. And that leaves a 6 in this box. This box now needs a 1. It can't go here, so it goes here. And all that's left here is a 7. Let's see, in the middle box, uh, we've got a 1, 8 here and here, which means that 1 and 8 have to go here. Because the 27 cage can't have a 1 or 8 in it, the only possible values are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we can go ahead and put those in. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, this one has to be a 6. This one has to be a 5. And we're left with a 2, 7 pair here. Uh, the last digit in box 5 that's missing here has to be a 9. Uh, and then all of this stuff fixed this one so that it becomes a 4. And then in this column, the only thing that's missing here is a 2 which also places a 2 here. Um, and in box 7, we've got enough information here. Uh, 4 has to go here. And 8 has to go here. And a 7 has to go here. In column 3, we're just missing one value, so that is an 8. And that makes that a 1, and that an 8. And then in this box, we can finish up. Uh, you have to be a 6, and then a 9, and a 5. 
In this cage here, we know that this is a 2, 7, and 9. And the 9 can't go here. The second row is a 3, 6. Uh, and the 3 has to go here. So the 6 has to go here. In box 9, there is only one place the 8 can go here. And that leaves a 4 for, to finish up this row. And then the only thing that can go here is a 3. And we see that that becomes a 2, that becomes a 3. And then all we've got left here is a 5 and 9. This one sees that, so that's a 9. This one sees that, so that's a 5. We can go back up to box 6, and we'll fill them up by columns. We've got a 2 and 4 needed here. This one sees the 4, so that's a 2. That's a 4. That makes that a 7. That's a 2. That becomes a 9. That becomes a 7. That becomes a 2. So this becomes a 1. This is a 5. This is a 9. And this is a 3, a 7, and a 6. Yep. So that was a pretty good uh, Sudoku. Uh, not much to say about it. Uh, thank you for joining us. We'll be back again next time with another Solving the Sudoku.